Today we're going to compare the different algorithms that Midjourney has to offer when creating AI art. And it's actually had a few algorithms, they're actually up to version 3 at the moment with a new algorithm you can actually add by adding a code to the end of your prompts. So we're going to take a look at these with a few different examples so you can see how far Midjourney's come and the different sort of effects you get by using these different algorithms. Now. In order to use these different algorithms, it's simply a matter of uh, using the codes on your prompts. For example, if I want to use version 3, the current algorithm, I don't have to change anything. But if I want to add a prompt onto, maybe I want to create a, all I need to do to add onto the end of that is dash dash V, and I can add version 1, or version 2, or version 3, which is the current algorithm, or I can move into the new test algorithm, if I add the P, we get the photographic test algorithm, the latest one they're working on, which is pretty much the best algorithm I think they have at the moment. But uh, you can also add in there dash dash creative to give Midjourney more creativity when it's actually using these algorithms. We're gonna explore all those with a few examples coming up now. Starting off with this uh, nice sort of outdoor scene with a bit of a river flowing and some mountains in the background. So we have here the photorealistic algorithm, which I think is probably the best algorithm that Midjourney has at the moment to getting, for getting really cool results. But if you go way back to the first one and compare it to version one, you can see the difference. The first one's kind of stark and a little bit sort of like kind of chalky, but uh, still not necessarily worse. But when you go ahead and remaster that, you get a completely different result, but very similar to the first with all those refinements. So remastering kind of has a different effect on its own. Moving up to version two, you can see we've got some basic improvements, but it still looks much the same. And once again, the remastered tends to smooth those out and even add a lot of details into the mountains and just gives it a much more complete look. But version three, which is the current standard algorithm, in this instance actually looks like it has lost a bit of detail. You remaster it and it's sort of got a real painted look uh, for this particular sort of prompt is kind of giving it that painted look. But finally, you give it the test algorithm and you get something pretty cool. Add the creative uh, code on the end and it sort of gave it a little bit more vibrancy as well. So in regards to creating landscapes, Mid Journey has definitely evolved. We want to see how far Mid Journey's come with faces. So I created this woman's face with blue eyes and you can see it here using the, the photo realistic algorithm, the test P algorithm. But if you compare it to the first algorithm, you can see just how much flatter the whole thing is. And it's actually a, a bit of a stark difference in comparison. You can really see how far it's come. But once again, if you remaster that image, you do get something that is pretty awesome. And Mid Journey's ability to draw faces has definitely improved here, even from remastering one of these old ones. I did the same thing again with version two. And again, we hit the remaster and we start to get something that looks a little bit more like an actual woman's face. It has more of a painted look, obviously, than the photo algorithm, but it's still pretty cool. Now the current algorithm, version three, doesn't look too bad either. The eyes are a bit funny, but you remaster and there's a big improvement. Things are really starting to get uh, take better shape and this is a straight prompt uh, remaster this is the new algorithm which is the test algorithm and of course test creative and you can just see that faces are definitely improving very dramatically with this newer algorithm so it's exciting to see where mid journey goes with this in the future and one of my first videos we started with a cyborg skull so i decided to do the same with this one with the photo algorithm you can see it looks like a real object like an actual photo and it's a massive difference from the first algorithm which looks very flat and two-dimensional and although it is still pretty cool uh, it's a massive leap forward. But then if you remaster that one, you get like a pretty cool design based from it. So I still recommend actually using these old algorithms and remastering to get some cool effects. You can see it with the version two image I created here, which is definitely looking a bit cooler. And we get like a really mean sort of looking cool skull when we remaster that, uh, which is another great effect. And of course, again, version three, you get something pretty similar again but remastering and we get more sort of like a terminator human style cyborg scale which i think is a pretty big leap forward but it just doesn't compare to the new algorithm everything has that real deep 3d look and it just is a big leap for uh, what we're trying to achieve here with these cyborg scales and really moving forward pretty well but what about cities 
I created this busy city street, again, using the photorealistic algorithm for comparison for what's currently looking the best. And it looks amazing. It looks almost like a dramatic photo. You go back to version one and you've got a pretty, uh, you've got something still pretty cool, but definitely looks like a bit of a rough painting. And uh, even when you remaster this, you still get a pretty cool effect and it's a lot neater, but uh, not quite that same level of detail, but still pretty neat, pretty tidy. Uh, and version 2 looking a bit tidier off the bat and then obviously when you remaster it uh, sort of picks things up a bit better again so once again a great comparison where you can sort of see how it's evolved even in the early days version 3 is a little bit more dramatic uh, a little bit better with the lighting and then of course the remastering again similar effect uh, I do feel like this one hasn't remastered as well as others but you get the idea once again, the new algorithm though, a whole different look, even though it's actually not a busy street. Um, it's just got a much better look and balance of color and depth. And I think that uh, once again, just another sign of how much Mid Journey has improved. And again, in one of my early videos, I created a puppy with sunglasses, but I thought I'd add a suit this time instead of headphones. And you can see it almost looks like a real dog. It's pretty amazing. And you look at the first one, it's definitely more of an artistic interpretation and uh, it's got eyes all throughout its head and you can see that it was a little bit confused in the early days. But that remastering effect, again, just sort of tidies those features up and it starts to look more like an actual dog. But uh, they've definitely moved forward in the second algorithm. Once again, the features are a little bit more tidy and in place. And of course, the remaster of, has made that look almost photorealistic again while keeping that cool style we had in the old algorithm, which I think is pretty impressive. Version three, sort of much the same as two, but a little bit more depth and 3D to it, which looks really good when remastered. And in this instance, compared to the new algorithm, I kind of feel remastering the older algorithms has had a better effect with this image. But uh, you can get such great results, you're better off just trying and remixing because uh, it's really amazing the different variations it comes up with. Now to finish things off, I've chosen something really different, which is a slimy red monster. Now the photorealistic algorithm, we get a cool creature, you can see it has some eyes and a little bit of form about it. But you go back to the original algorithm and it's kind of just like a, a lump of slime dripping which is very cool in its own way but uh, a little bit sort of not really any features in it or anything there so when you remaster it it does actually introduce a few things like tentacles and a face which i think is actually really cool and is a great effect in many ways preferred to the, uh, the new one now this is version two it uh, has some features it just looks like a bit of slime but it has actually given it more of an actual uh, uh, purposeful look in this one we can see the features in the face on it now version three uh, this one was a little bit disappointing to be honest and even the remaster was only a slight improvement but you can still see how it's tried to give things a little bit more depth and shape when it's remastered it. But the new algorithm has created some really cool images. You can see uh, it's really gone creative with it and um, kind of played with the form a lot more and uh, although it's not quite slimy, it still has a pretty cool look overall. Now, what do you think of the changes in Mid Journey's algorithms? Leave a comment below and let me know just how much improvement you feel like you've seen since you started using Mid Journey. Otherwise, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a like. If you want more AI art videos and Mid Journey videos, check out my channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching, have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon.